Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the following videos we are going to cover lightning in Unity 5. Today we are going to talk about some tools that will help you to optimize the light in your scene. If you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials remember to subscribe to our channel. Now as usual I'm using the same scene as in the previous videos. Um, so now, once you have uh, your scene ready for your game, you may encounter some areas that look a little bit weird. For example, you may have some pixelated shadows or some stretchy shadows. The tools we are going to explore today will allow you to find what is causing those problems. Now, to select the tools, we go to the scene view and on the render mode, on the bottom we will find a section called Global Illumination. Here we have several tools that you can use to check how light is uh, working in your scene. Now the first thing you must know before using these tools is that dynamic objects like our bouncing ball right here will not appear when you have this tool selected, only static objects, so don't worry if your dynamic objects don't show up. Now the first tool we have is UV Charts. You can use this tool to see all the UV forms, the UVs uh, from your objects. The different colors that you can see here, for example red, uh, green, etc. show that the UVs are in different clusters. One thing that is very important when checking light is to make sure you have the light map resolution enabled. To make sure of that you open again the render mode and you have this option right here in the bottom so make sure this is enabled this will this will render light maps on the checkboards so how is this useful well if you have an object that is really scratched out so or a checkerboard that is too small um, which means that you have a very high resolution you may want to do the UVs of that object on your third-party software again, since this will create a lot of problems with lighting and shadows. So this tool, basically what you will do is take a look at the checkerboards, see if there is they are looking good, they are not no anomalies, not too scratchy, not too small, and in our scene, as you guys can see, everything seems to be working just fine except for example see these areas here inside we did not uh, UV these areas because we didn't use a third-party software to create UVs but as you can see the checkerboards are a little scratched in these areas so here's a perfect example where you may want uh, to UV an area but since we are going to focus in the inside, the main uh, area is working good, so let's move on to the next tool. So the next tool is Systems. Here you can see um, how the scene is being rendered. Right now, as you can see, all the objects are using the same color. This means that the entire scene is being rendered in just one pass. Which is great because it means that it has a really low cost for the processor, but that is also happening because you have a lot of static objects in our scene. Okay? So the following tool is Albedo. Basically here you can see the colors that you have in your scene. So we have we have you can see the white, the yellow and the blue. Next tool, Emissive, um, you can see the Emissive lights. As you can see, we have our lamp right here on top and all the rest is black because they are not materials that emit light. However, one thing to keep in mind is that the Emissive light will only show up if you have them working on real time. So if we go to our material and change the global illumination setting to baked, it will no longer show up. Okay, so 
Keep that in mind. Now let's change it to real time again and it will show up again. Ok, the next tool is Radiance. Here you this you can see how the interact lighting is is bouncing out is bouncing in the objects in your scene. So you can see the bluish color around this area where you have the blue the blue wall. You can see the the yellow orange color in this area. So everything seems to be working just fine. Next we have directionally uh, and the directionally shows the world space normals meaning that will show the direction of the normals of the game objects you have in your scene so everything just fine here and finally on Baketh you can see all the backlight affecting the objects so right now as you, can, as you guys can see we don't have any backlighting why? because our emissive material is set to real time now if we go if we go here and change the lumen illumination to bake it you can now see all the baking lights in the, in the in the scene so basically this is it guys this is how you use the light tools in unity 5 uh, again remember to use these tools when you are using uh, um, when you are trying to see problems with your shadows or lighting because they really help um, and they are very easy to use and will allow you to identify the problems so this is it I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until the next tutorial have a nice day